Hello and welcome to this Map Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about problems with your database after upgrading to MAMP Pro. I am going to be using MAMP OS 10 Mavericks and MAMP 3.06. So uh, here I have a uh, working version of MAMP and I have a data-driven uh, website that I've created with MAMP and it's working. I have Bill and Mary coming from my uh, database. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is recreate the steps uh, of how you possibly could have missing data. Okay, so let's uh, say you were using MAMP. You had uh, made a, a website, uh, either a content management system, which is using a database, or uh, created your own site uh, with, uh, with a database yourself. You were happy with that. And you, uh, but at one point you wanted to uh, look at MAMP Pro and just take a look and uh, see what it was all about. So um, let's first look at my databases, uh, or where my databases are located. Uh, my MAMP database is here in Applications MAMP DB and has a MySQL folder. Inside of that folder, I do have a bunch of data. Uh, your MAMP Pro uh, databases are stored in the library Application Support Absolute MAMP Pro DB. As you can see here, there's nothing in it because I've never opened MAMP Pro and so that therefore there's nothing in it. So what happens is when you first open up MAMP Pro, for the first time, say you were curious, you wanted to check it out, and you looked, you typed in your password, and what happened was you, uh, Map Pro copied uh, all your database info from this directory, uh, applications uh, Map DB, to the Map Pro. So just copied it over, so now you have two copies of the data, and you could have very, well, looked at your local host, gone in there, started your servers, uh, seen that, that everything works fine. Uh, there's your database and everything's working fine, but you decided that MAMP Pro wasn't for you um, and you went back to using MAMP. So everything's good at that point. You went back to MAMP and started your servers and you started working on your website for a while. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, I'm gonna to go to PHP my admin. I'm going to go to my databases. I'm gonna go, I think this is my name data too. I'm gonna to go to names and insert uh, some people here. Um, we got Sue and we're gonna give her identifier Sue and Sam. And we're gonna add these two users to our database. I think I added them, Does that work? Um, and when I go to my, um, if I add a new tab here, I go to my local host. I have, there we go, Bill, Mary, Sue, and Sam. Okay, so everything's good now, uh, that's fine. So you keep working on your database and uh, you do this for several months. And at some point you decide, okay, well, I'm going to purchase MAMP Pro. So I'm going to stop my servers here, quit. So you purchase MAMP Pro and you uh, start up your servers, you've paid for MAMP Pro and you want to go look at your website and you do not see your last few months work. Okay, what happened? Um, MAMP Pro only um, is going to is going to check for this MySQL uh, folder. If it's uh, if it's there, it's not going to copy anything. It's not going to do any comparison between the two sets of data, um, stuff like that. So if it sees the folder, uh, it will not do any copying. So we have a problem now. You just purchased MAMP Pro and your data is only accessible in MAMP. Okay, so here's a trick that you can do to get your data from MAMP over to MAMP Pro. What you wanna do is stop your servers, uh, close, completely uh, quit out of MAMP Pro, and uh, 
okay, first, before you do any of this, what you want to do is make a backup of this folder, make a backup of this folder, and uh, you should be doing that. Uh, make backups before you do anything like upgrades and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is just um, name this to, uh, um, I guess I can do just back there. That's fine. My school back. Um, rename that folder in the MAMP Pro in this library application support absolute uh, MAMP Pro DB uh, folder. So now when I go and open up MAMP Pro, it is going to copy the it's not going to see in my sql folder therefore it's going to copy the entire folder over again if i do start my uh, servers again and i look at my local host all my data is there so that's going to conclude this screencast on uh, tr troubleshooting your uh, data not being moved over when you upgrade to map pro